Drivers, start your engine. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora Call of Duty Premier Series Season 6, race number 4 from Fontana. Now, looking at the top 10, you can see definitely the two dominant teams thus far. On pole is Tim Randolph, the rookie at RCR, and his outside last season's champion, Nick Flood. Rounding out the RCR train is Nick Venture in third, and then starts the Team Penske train with Alexander Rowe. Then you got Hunter Spartan and last week's winner, Ryan Kesey. Landon Finway, who went flying in the LCQ and somehow managed to still make it, and Donovan do it. And then Logan Claudel rounding out the Team Penske train. And then you got a couple DEI cars with uh, Daniel Gittero, uh Burt Forward, Max Anderson, Eli Bright, Mo Akers, Joseph Rakowski, uh, Adam Akers, TJ Friend, Bullet Bill, Max Cladell, Kyle Akers, Keon Eddington, someone blowing up, I'm losing a bit of ground, you got Jeff Bright, Alvin Summers, Lego Bush, Kevin Volano, there was Nathan Stapleton in the 14 as well, T-Ball Cladell, Brad Stover, Jay Jefferson, Philip John, Colin Francis, Brayson Mitchell, Perry Allen, Jay Jefferson, or Joe Jefferson I mean, Tyler Kayser, Tom Akers, Ruby Claudel, Alexander Russell, Zach Fitzwater Sr., Hayden Meadows, TJ Hanley, oh, and Dalton Riley. Now, I know in the LCQ, Dalton Riley did not transfer, but I did the same thing last week. I got my calculations wrong. Muhammad Zane, who actually finished 18th in the LCQ last week, uh, it would only have been 41 cars, so he got bumped in. Same thing happened this week with Dalton Riley. So, I really need to work on that, because I don't understand how I'm messing that up so bad. <laughs> but, nonetheless, Dalton Riley, he's missed three or two of the four races now. And he might not actually start in this one either, so we shall see. Pace car pulls off 50 laps from Fontana. The rookie, Tim Randolph, leading him. And green flag is out. Alexander Rowe with help from Ryan Kesey already jumped to the outside. Gonna try to make it three wide for the lead before we get to turn number one. Calm down, boys. It's not that serious. Nick Ventura gonna look to the inside of his young teammate, Tim Randolph. Here comes Landon Finway in the rookie ride for Team Penske. He's out here trying to... Just trying to show off. Max uh, Anderson coming with him. Then you got the Acres boys. Gonna drag race getting turn number one. Landon Finway's gonna have the edge on the inside. Max Anderson though. A really bold move. Max Anderson did not even start in the top ten. He started 11th and he might get up here in lead lap number one. He's gonna be just shy. Uh, I would say that's very important for Landon. Bonus point for Landon Finway, but obviously he's not running for points here in the Premier Series. Adam Akers leading. Now here comes Mo and Kyle Akers. The three Akers boys up in the top three. See, the rating system might look overpowered in qualifying, but here we are in the race. you got like four different teams, four wide. Eh, three different teams. Okay, now you got four different teams. It's DEI is peeking their nose in with Joseph Rakowski. Oh, there they go. Oh, and it's the big one. Mo Akers upside down. Oh, and yesterday's Amateur Series winner, Perry Allen, just got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, caution's definitely be out. We'll be right back see what just... They actually might, might be racing back. They are still racing. No, they're not. No, all right, we'll back to see what just happened. The levels of unfortunate this just entire scenario brings. Mo Akers up the right, minding his business, along with his brother Adam, and God, a lot of cars going hard into the outside wall. It started on the inside line, so let's go and try finding out. I believe it. Logan Claudel. I don't know if he was the cause. It looks like the 14 might have drifted off the track and they started beating off. Or, oh, poor choice of words. Uh, man, such hard hits. We're going to go on board Eli Bright because he went pretty hard into the outside wall. And that monster energy Chevy. Oh, man. Who else got involved? I saw Burt Ford up on the top. And the UAW Delphi number one. Just nowhere for him to go. Your pole sitter Tim Randolph was in it as well. I see Kevin Volano. Hunter Spartan is in it. Didn't even really mention him. Man, Perry Allen back here in 36. Just minding his own business. He's out here just trying to live his life in that Home Depot Camry. Oh, looks like he's going to get to the back of the 39. And then all heck breaks loose. It's, oh, man, the 53 is Zach Fitzwater Sr. Such a hard hit. We'll be back for the restart. Pace guys getting ready to pull off. See who all DNF'd off this one. 
Uh, Dalton Riley, I guess, went out there and was able to complete the lap because he will get credit for this race. He'll score a point. He has Zach Fitzgerald Sr., Perry Allen, TJ Hanley, who avoided the wreck, uh, had issues with his valve, uh, and then Mo and Adam Akers both out. Adam didn't have to do a clutch, but, I mean, he was pretty well destroyed in that wreck, so. Joseph Rakowski leads. Then you got uh, Kyle Akers second, Jay Jefferson third, TJ Friend fourth, and Alexander Rowe fifth. That, um... That Team Penske and RCR domination we saw in qualifying, seven laps in, and that's already out. Looks like only one or two of those two teams combined are inside the top ten right now, none of which are RCR, which are the top three. Kyle Akers not going for the lead really early on in this run. How about that Akers Racing uh, Dodge of Brayson Mitchell and that Texas Tech sponsored car up inside the top ten. Kyle Akers going to... Take the lead and try running away with it. Here comes Donovan Dewitt, the young rookie for uh, Team Penske. He's had a low, slow start to the season. Someone pulling off into the pits in the back. Let's see who that was. Uh, Bullet Bill. Wow, okay. Donovan Dewitt now going for the lead. Here comes Nathan Stapleton, Joe Jefferson, Tebow Claudel. Oh, my goodness. I guess that big wreck we just saw didn't scare anybody away. Got like a nice little four-car tandem on the inside. It's hard to hold your line if you enter that low. Kyle Akers entered the outside. He's going to go for a crossover right here off turn four. Try taking the lead back from young Donovan. Do it. Donovan trying to get that really important bonus point for leading a lap. Kyle Akers isn't going to allow it. This looks like Kyle Akers, yeah, he led that lap as well. Close contact between the 89 and the 88. That could have got ugly real fast. And how about Colin Francis in that Black Flag Autosport car? He's worked his way into the top five. It's another startup team along with Acres Racing, Kesey Motorsports, and Wood Brothers Racing. Ooh, Tyler Kayser giving that 03 a bump and run. You can't really do that at Fontana, man. Would not recommend. Donovan Dewitt's going to finally get up there and lead this lap. Kyle Akers was not there to steal it. Jeff Bright going to peek to the inside, try taking the lead, getting in turn number one. Lap 10 of 50 now. One lap shy of a fifth of the way through. How many cars are actually left, technically? Uh, there's about 18 up in this within a second. There's 35 total. A lot of those cars are really damaged. You're going so fast to this track. You're over 200 miles an hour basically the whole way around that any bit of damage will, will basically end your chances of a win unless something crazy happens. Kyle Erickson can go back up there and steal this lap yet again. Jeff Bright did not get that bonus point. Landon Fenway pulling into the pits. That was all lap traffic up here. Yeah, Bullet Bill. Is he coming off turn four or two? Coming off turn two. So they're going to be catching him in a hurry. Brayson Mitchell on that number 89 going for the lead. Did I just see a wreck? I didn't. That was... I thought I... Oh, yeah. There it is. Philip John. Oh, is that... Yeah, Philip John in the 17. No. Oh, ho, ho. What a save, man. Oh, it ain't over yet, though. He's still got a lot of cars coming. Wow. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. No caution. Kyle Akers can... Oh, Alexander Rowe stole that lap. I can't get over these underfunded cars. Brayson Mitchell, Colin Francis up here inside the top five. Doing work. Oh, and Daniel get her on that number 08. Losing a motor on the backstretch. They're catching Bullet Bill in a hurry, man. 194 compared to 203. About 10 mile an hour difference. Kyle Akers up there tries stealing this lap yet again. He wants to get that bonus point for leading the most laps. If the chase was to start today, Kyle Akers would be in there. Not with a win, but he is up to top 16 in points. But there only being two different winners in the first three races. There's a lot of chase spots up for grabs. Joseph Rakowski now going for second past Alexander Rowe. There's Colin Francis in the 03 yet again. These underfunded guys, they just won't quit. Joseph Kowski with a huge run through three and four. Colin Francis can give Brad, to Brad Stover a little tap. Brad Stover, the number 20, is on quite a quite a long winless streak. He hasn't won since race two of season five. So it's been over a season. Uh, I got Landon Fenway and Bullet Bill. Joseph Kowski up to the top spot. The number two going for a crossover. Oh, the lap driving be side by side up in front of him. Where do you go? 
Kyle Akers all over the back bumper. That 15. Lego Bush got real loose. I don't know how he just saved that. Oh, cars are pitting. Oh, that was. I, don't, I couldn't even talk right there. Ryan Keesey, last week's winner, just came out of nowhere to steal second place. I didn't even realize he was up in this pack. Colin Francis, uh, third. Yeah, Tyler Kayser, fourth. And TJ Friend, fifth. That lap traffic basically just destroyed that lead pack. Bullet Bill looks like he's running second. He's a lap down. The top two are Team Penske. Then you got Black Flag Auto Sport, Kevin Harvey Incorporated, and Robbie H Racing. The rest of the leaders probably going to pit this time by. Will anybody stay out trying to get a bonus point? Looks like, oh, Keon Eddington tried staying out and just got dumped. Oh, by a lapped car, it looks like. TJ Friend going to stay out and lead this lap. Very important bonus point right there, man. Yeah, caution is out. And we'll be right back. See what just happened. All right, so at this point, they're uh, they're staying out. They have it pretty much guaranteed. The 18 just... Okay, yeah, the 25 acted like he was going to stay out and then tried pulling out of the pits. At that point, Jay Jeffers already there. Nothing he could do. Tough break for the Season 4 champion, though, Keon Eddington. He's having... He had a terrible season last year. Uh, but he's in the top 10 of points right now. So looking to get a nice little run. I guess right here, he just decided to outpit and land at Fenway. Nowhere to go in that number 27. We're back for the restart. Oh man, and Joseph Rakowski got ran over on pit road, and he is his day is done. He was up inside the top three before the pit stops began. Thirty fourth place, tough, tough break. Uh, Tom Akers looks like he's leading the race. He's actually the last car in the lead lap. Don't really know how that worked out, but yeah, Alexander Rowe, your leader. Then you got Ryan Kesey, TJ Friend, Jeff Bright, and Alvin Summers rounding out your top five. Got a couple lap cars down on the inside. And then the last car on the lead lap, leading the pack. Green flag is on to lap 20 of 50. 30, 31 to go. Alexander Rogan try putting that 49 a lap down, get it over with. Alexander Rowe, another guy with, on a pretty long winless streak. He has not won since the Daytona 500 of Season 5. So it's been about 27 races since his last win. Ryan Kesey up here on a one or a zero race winless streak. He won the most recent race, so could he go back to back? It's only happened a few times in history. Uh, it's only happened three times, twice in season one, and then the first two races of this season with TJ Hanley. Only three drivers have ever done it. One of those went on to win the championship that season with uh, Luke Herring back in season one. Alvin Summers up to P3. Here comes TJ Friend. He's on a, having a really good race. Probably the race of his career. Consistently up in the top 10 today. Fontana and Michigan uh, along with Daytona and Talladega. Uh, and they mix in a couple short tracks. But those are the, really the races that a lot of these guys have circled on their calendars. Because it's not a restrictor plate race. But the draft is so huge here. And the way the pack racing works at Fontana and Michigan. That really anybody can win. And get up there and laps as we've seen. Uh, it's not really to the extent of Daytona and Talladega. But it is the next best thing. Side by side are the teammates for the lead. Alexander Rose saying, Ryan, you've already won this season. It's my turn. They better get their act straight because here comes Alvin Summers in that number 19. Nathan Stapleton, Stuart Hush Racing is kind of underfunded. Like, they're not the most fun. I think they're funded, but they don't have the best ratings uh, due to past season success. But Nathan Stapleton currently in the chase right now, if it was to begin right now. Um, and he's been inside the top 10 majority of the season, so. Nate Stapleton won a race last, uh, season. And he's looking to continue to prove all stu why Stuart Hodge Racing should not be slept on. Alvin Summers up to the top spot. Nathan Stapleton can try going from 6th to 3rd in half a lap. Here comes Brad Stover in P7. Ooh, Ryan Kesey really got up to the marvels. He's going to lose a ton of spots in that number 12. Nathan Stapleton now going for the lead as Alexander Rowe passes the 19. A lot of single file racing. That's just because they got trapped behind a few lapped cars. But they're coming. Don't, don't count out. Uh, basically, ninth on back. 
that's it. Like I, I've mentioned this multiple times. I'm really impressed with these underfunded, these uh, not really underfunded, these startup teams. Acres Racing, Kesey Motorsports, Black Flag Autosport, and Wood Brothers Racing. I keep talking about them. But that's insane, man. Oh, four, five wide. That 49 is a lap car. Here comes that 49's teammate in the 89. Wasted no time to get by his left teammate. Now Ryan Kesey going back up for the lead. I guess getting up into those marbles didn't hurt him. He's going to go fourth to first in one lap. Now officially halfway through race number four at Fontana. TJ Friend looking for the lead. Here comes Tyler Kayser, last season's Amateur Series champion. He's had a pretty disappointing season. A start to the season, I guess. Getting a win here at uh, Fontana would be huge for that young kid's uh, momentum, I guess. About to catch up the lap car, uh, Jay Jefferson. That is the car that Joseph Rakowski collided with on pit road. Jay Jefferson got a lot of damage. He was the leader, Joseph Rakowski. DNF because of it. Jeff Bright nearly getting into the back end of the 18. Oh my goodness. Jay Jefferson actually missing his quarter panel. You don't see that every day. That helped about six cars, and it killed basically the rest. They should be up there in no time, though. The 89, I don't know if you are pitting the way he just went high. It yeah, looks like Tyler Kayser is going to pull off to pits. Ooh, Keon Edding, or Ryan Kesey about pulling a Keon Eddington right there. He almost got clobbered by Rayson Mitchell because he waited too long to pit. Alexander Rowe is your leader. Then you got Rayson Mitchell, Joe Jefferson, Alvin Summers, and Jeff Bright riding out your top five. Bulla Bill still stuck one lap down back in P27. That is your all-time wins leader in the College of Premier Series with five. He has not won this season. Looks like the 89 is going to pair right here along with the two. Will anybody stay out to get a bonus point? Ooh, the 19. Uh, we didn't see that work too well for Count Eddington. A little bit ago. Is anyone going to stay out to try getting a bonus point? You'd think you'd risk it. Kyle Eager's already pit. I don't. He must have. Very much Kyle Eager's for a little bit, I suppose. Coming to lap 30 now. Unless we were. Unless the leaders already crossed the line. I don't know. Must be lap 29. TJ Friend, the big winner off that first round of pit. Or, I guess, first lap of pit stops. But will he take the lead away from Alexander Rowe? He's got a pretty nice little gap on Ryan Kesey. That wasn't there when the pit cycle began. And that UPS forward. Everyone else is leaving pit road. Where's Alexander Rowe? Wow, Brace Mitchell the big winner off that second lap. There was Jay Jefferson getting one lap back. He's yet to pit though. Here comes the the speeding cars of the 88 and the 12. I think Kyle Akers might be the big winner off this one. He's up to P3, it looks like. Ryan Kesey going for the lead. Who will Jay Jefferson block? He's just trying to run his line. Not really going to hold up anyone too much. TJ Friend did get held up slightly. Uh, Ryan Kesey with a pretty big lead. I think it's the biggest lead we've seen all race. Lap 30 of 50 now. Donovan do it, missing his hood. See how quick the pack reels in, Ryan. You know he wants to go back to back. 89 with a huge run through the center of the turn. If I was him, I would actually try pushing the 33, not really make it three wide. That's just going to hold all of you up. Looks like that's what he thought as well. All right, he said enough time for pushing. Yeah, if you were to make your move, do it in the turn. Don't really do it on the straightaway because that just holds everybody up. That 89 flying. Kyle Akers going for one heck of a crossover on both the 33 and the 89. Looks like a five car pack right now. Joe Jefferson not too far back. I think I bred over Nathan Stevenson, Tebow Claudel. Uh, then Ruby Claudel running out your top 10. Haven't really mentioned Ruby all day. We've mentioned Wood Brothers, not really Ruby directly. She's having a quiet run back in 10th. 
She's also currently in the top 16 in points, which is amazing for that startup team. I reckon we'll be catching these lap cars here before too long. Three wide for second. We don't do it on the straightaway, guys. Do you not listen? I guess they do listen because everyone's backed out of it. Ryan Kesey, Bruce Mitchell, Kyle Akers, and then Tebow, or not Tebow, uh, Tyler Kayser and TJ Friend running out your top five. Lap 33 of 50. They should have to hit one more time, maybe two, depending on when they make that stop. That giant lead Ryan Kesey had is gone, as now the 89 is right on his bumper. Looks like the 9 is going to make a quick move to the inside. It is surprising seeing the Acres Racing number 89 up inside the top three, but it's not surprising seeing the nine up there as well. Acres Racing is kind of like a satellite team to Everham, so not at near as good equipment for the 89 as the nine's got, but um, I mean, pretty similar setups and whatnot. Right now, Team Penske, Ryan Kesey continues to hold on to the lead. They're about to lap his teammate Donovan do it. They got thick lap traffic up here too. It's bound to hold at least one of them up. If I was that might keep it single file. Oh, and Brayson's gonna use Donovan. Do it as a pick. What a move. I think that 89 wishes that uh, O2 would held the 12 up just a little bit longer. That might, I think that might have been the first lap Acres Racing has ever led in the College of Premier Series. 15 and a half laps to go. Like I said, they all have to pit at least one more time. When will they make it? I think you can go 12 to 13 laps on a uh, on a tank of fuel if it goes green. They might try holding out three, four more laps and then pull in. Tires are kind of important though. So if a caution comes out, do you pit? If you're in the top five, I say no. But if you're behind that, you, you gotta. Ranky's now looking for the lead yet again. Tyler Kayser. Kevin Harvard Incorporated, they've won the last two championships in the Amateur Series, but they have not had success whatsoever in the College of Premier Series. Tyler Kayser trying to change that. They scaled back to a one-car team this season. Coming to 14 to go, it's still a five-car race. The lap traffic wasn't that kind on the second pack. Yeah, they're going to want a caution. If you're in the top five, you definitely don't. Tyler Kayser looking for the lead. A couple cars on pit road. I wonder if that's uh, from this cycle or if they're on their own strategy. A lot of those cars were a lap down. Tyler Kays are going to the top spot. They have a little bit more lap traffic up ahead with Max Claudel. And Keon Eddington, Vin uh, Nick Ventura is on pit road. I wonder if we'll see the leaders pull off. We're coming to 13 to go. I said you could probably go 12 to 13. TJ Friend and Brayson Mitchell staying out. They want to be certain. Who led that lap? I think it was 88. Yeah, the 88. I think that might have been TJ Friend's first lap led this race, so that's pretty important. If you're that 89 or 88, man, you want to put as much time on them as possible. You want to have such a good lap, you don't want to be side by side. Ooh, Keon Eddington holding up TJ Friend just a little bit. Ooh, the 89 staying out another lap. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with this, but hey man, I'm all about mixing it up. The longer he stays out, though, the, those fresher tires are going to reel him in so fast. And they're also in the draft. I don't know. A couple other people are continuing to stay out as well. You got Joe Jefferson, Alexander Rowe, Colin Francis, Alvin Summers. Looks like the 89 going to finally pull it into pit road. Don't speed. Joe Jefferson's going to stay out and get a very important lap led. I do think it's important to notice that number 89 of Brayson Mitchell. Uh, yes, he's an underfunded car, but don't forget, he has three career Call of Duty Premier Series wins, all coming with uh, Joe Gibbs Racing.
Unfortunate. Joe Jefferson finally pulling onto pit road. Wondering who the leader's gonna be. Tyler, there's Tyler, there's Ryan. I don't think they've caught up to the 89 yet. Damn, where is he? There he is, okay. Ten and a half laps to go. How does this strategy that the 89 pulled, how will it work out? There is the pack. He was not the leader when the green flag stops began. Wow, what a move. He was in the top three. All right, I think he's the top five. He's not going to hold on to the lead much longer, depending on where that 18 goes. Oh, wow. Jay Jefferson doing a great job getting out of everyone's way. Nine and three quarters a lap to go. Ryan Kesey back to the lead. And you got Tyler Kayser, Kyle Akers, Brayson Mitchell. Um, fifth place, TJ Friend. He stayed out not as long as the 89, but he definitely stayed out to the point that um, they kind of hurt him. Uh, I was confused because it said the 16 was the leader. I don't know where he's at. There he is. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that worked out for that 16 car. The top four, you put them under a blanket. Kyle Akers will be the first to make a move. Kyle Akers won three races last season, but missed the chase. It was not a win in your in format. Just top 12 in points, made it. I think he was actually 13th when the chase started. He's out for blood this season, hasn't had the best start to the season. He's second on the all-times wins list with four. Can you get up there and tie Bullet Bill at the top? Can Brace Mitchell in the 89 get up there and tie Kyle Akers for second? Can Tyler, or Kyle, Ty, yeah. Can Tyler Kayser get up there and win his first career win? Or can Ryan Kesey go back to back for the fourth time in history? It's all setting up to be one awesome finish. Don't count out TJ Friend, he's two and a half seconds back. But if something happens up here, they're under a lapped car, they get into a, a little scuffle. Uh, that pack is going to catch them. Tyler Kayser making another move on Kyle Akers. Now, there's still slight concern. Can the 12, the 33, and the 9 make it? I think the 89 is pretty confident he can make it. He stayed out like two extra laps. Um, but we'll see. Seven to go. I feel like everyone should be able to. But that is a concern. Oh, there's smoke. Is there a caution? A little bit of dust. There's not a caution. I don't know what that was. Bullet Bill pulling onto pit road. He pit way early last time, so that's not at all surprising. It is a concern because I believe everyone else pit within five laps after that, and there's still six to go. I don't think it, they waited six laps. We shall see, though. Side by side for second continues. It's impossible for Ryan Kesey to try saving fuel. He's not really running the bottom. And, uh, you can't really save fuel and lead. It's possible for, like, the 9, 89, 33, just get into the draft, let them pull you, coast a little bit. It almost looks like what that's, that's what the 89, 33, and the 9 are doing. Coming to 5 to go. I really hope this race ends caution-free. I don't want to see a caution. 5 laps to go. Is that second pack reeling them in? They were about 3.5 seconds back last time. No, they lost about a tenth. We lost about 10th, 89 dropping back. Three wide for the lead. This is probably going to help him catch him immediately. Remember, the 89 is super underfunded. So it's not at all surprising he's starting to lose ground. They're catching a lap car. They're also three wide. Wow. Kyle Akers at the top spot. Where will Russell Alexander go in that number 44? Oh, I feel like Kyle Akers and Ryan Kesey are about to get screwed. Oh, I thought Kyle was going to for sure clear it. Jump down in front of the 89. Kyle nearly getting back into the 44. That's super unfortunate for him. Three and a half laps to go. Okay, the way the 89 jumped to the outside, they're pitting. Can, does the 89 have enough fuel to make it? I didn't think they'd be able to. 
The 89 stayed out a couple laps longer. He might have to pit with one to go. Unbelievable. Did he save enough fuel when he was running behind? This could be the greatest upset in College of Premier Series history, guys. I'm going two to go. He should be able to make it to at least lap 49. But does he have enough to get through and complete lap 50 without pitting? He's got a pretty good size lead. I think he can afford to start coasting a little bit. Actually, no, he can't because that two is coming. So Alexander Rowe is a much better car. Team Penske, he gained about half a second that lap. That's not enough to gain in two laps. Will the 89 have enough fuel to make it? Oh my goodness. As long as he doesn't pull off into the pitch right here, I think he's good. Coming to the white flag, and Brace Mitchell on to get his fourth career win and Acres Racing's first career win. White flag is out. He's got some pretty good lap traffic ahead. That'll be good enough to get him some draft. If he has to pull off into the pits off turn four, that'll probably have to pull the two and the 16 as well. Actually, the 16 went a lap farther than everybody. He should be good. Oh my goodness. Entering turn number three for the last time. Can that Texas Tech dodge hold on? Off turn number four. He's got, he can run on fumes from here. Coming through the trial, well, Brayson Mitchell is a four-time winner in the Call of Duty Premier Series. Acres Racing finally gets it done. I say finally, it's only been four races. Unbelievable. Wow. How about that? The biggest upset in history. This is US, UMBC versus Virginia type stuff. Wow, we'll be back to look at your official results. And your official top 10 from Season 6, race number 4 at Fontana goes. Bracey Mitchell, 4th career win. Acres Racing's 1st. The yeah, Alexander Rose, 2nd. Alvin Summers, 3rd. Joe Jefferson, strong run 4th. The highest finishing rookie. Then Ruby Claudel, 5th. Colin Francis, 6th. Jeff Bright, 7th. Burt Ford, 8th. Max Anderson, ninth, And Logan Claudel runs out your top 10. Can we just point out the fact there were 3 startup organizations getting inside the top 6. Acres Racing with the win. Colin Francis and Black Flag Autosport, 6th. And Ruby Claudel and Wood Brothers Racing in 5th. Notables outside the top 10. Kyle Akers um, and Tyler Kayser, who ran top 3 majority of that last run, getting 11th and 12th. Ryan Kesey, who probably led the most laps today, getting 16th. Uh, Tim Randolph, your pole sitter, who was involved in that early crash back in 20th. Licensed champion Nick Flood, 23rd. Hunter Spartan, 25th. Bullet Bill, 28th. Um, Keon Eddington back in 29th. I think everyone else finished. So, that was it. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. Major congrats to Brayson Mitchell and Acres Racing. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. He said, boy, can you make fans stand and scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass? Never let off the gas till you rode into Big Lane. He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you're Daytona bound, let me warn you, you're in for a ride.